Dearly beloved, greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't this an amazing place? Can't you see the entire city of Jerusalem? It is a grand and a big city. This is a historically important city. Jesus shed his blood and died in this city. This is where he was resurrected. In this city, the Holy Spirit was poured out. The first church was established and the church multiplied around the world. Jesus will come again and rule for a thousand years in this city. So this is also called the city of the great king. And this city is important to you and me as well, isn't it? Isn't it a place where our Jesus shed his blood, died and rose again? Okay, are you thinking what word does the Lord have for me today? Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 8 he who touches you touches the apple of his eye. That is, if you are saved and have become a child of the Lord God, you become the apple of Jesus' eyes. See if you can touch your eye with your finger. Try it, your eyes will close. It will not allow you to touch the apple of your eye. The eyelid protects to the extent that it doesn't allow us to touch our own eyes with our own fingers. Then the Lord says, My son, my daughter, if someone touches you, it means that he is touching the apple of my eye. No one can touch you. He says, I will protect you like the eyelid. Isn't it such a great blessing being the apple of God's eye? You should say, Lord, praise you for keeping me as the apple of your eye. You protect me as the eyelid protects the eye. The Lord has protected you till now. He will protect you forevermore. You are of such importance. Our eyes are of the most importance in our body. That too, the apple of the eye is very important. That is why the lid will close for every small thing. It will be focused on protecting it. And similarly, the Lord will protect you as well. What dangers do you face? Are wicked people scaring you? Are wicked spirits rising against you? Is sorcery being done against you? Are they scaring and troubling you? Don't be afraid, no one can touch you. The Lord, the God who protects you like the apple of his eye says so. Will the Lord remain silent if they touch his eye? He will not allow it, so don't be afraid. But you need to think if you are the apple of his eye, how will he protect a drunkard like the apple of his eye? How will he protect someone who smokes cigarettes? How will the Lord protect someone who takes bribes and does injustice and iniquity? Then you should commit to living a life that pleases the Lord God. If you repent from your sins, try to live a holy life as much as possible and seek Him. You will be the apple of His eye. Are you truthful? If so, just say today, Dear Lord, you should keep me as the apple of your eye. I commit myself to it. I don't want these sins, iniquities and transgressions. I should live a holy life. Protect me, Jesus. I commit myself. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Protect, uphold and guide me. I commit to living in a manner that pleases you. No one can touch or harm me, Lord. Praise be to Lord God who protects me. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.